In this lesson, we will talk about the layout for your course. Before you begin building your course, you need to design the layout for your course. So let me show you what I'm talking about. We're going to go ahead and log into the sample course that we're working with right now. And as you can see, it is a blank shell. There's really nothing over here. And your course will probably start off looking something like this. Now, what we want to do is decide where we want things to go. And that's what I mean by layout. You typically start off with a blank canvas similar to this one where you may have the center of the page where you typically may have by default the announcements showing up and perhaps a few topics and the left menu panel will also have the topics that are showing up right over here and what we want it to look like when we're done is going to be something that looks like this so this is a completed course so my layout includes the following it'll have a header with a header, header image it will also have a course description in the center the objectives and student learning outcomes for my course it will have the required text and required materials. It'll also have my picture in the top right hand corner along with my email address. Now the reason that we do this is because we want students who log into our courses to know exactly what course they're in, especially if you have students that are taking multiple classes on Moodle. You want to ensure that the minute that they log into your class they know exactly which course they're in and who the instructor is and how to reach them. So once again the center of the page is going to include the header and basic information about the course and the expectations that we have of students and we are going to have underneath it the folders for every single week and each one of them will basically include the topics and resources that are a part of that particular week or that particular topic. Alright, let's go ahead and go back to the main course page. The other thing that we were going to add to our course page and, and this is my preference you can do this if you want to or you can choose not to I usually like to include the activities block right over here and this is a block which is basically a quick links block so students can access assignments or the virtual classroom virtual lecture virtual office hour that you might be hosting if you want to as well as any chats and forums and quizzes. It's a quick way for them to access, for, for example, all of the quizzes. If they want to see how many quizzes they have in a course, they can simply click on that and it'll show them that in the quiz, uh, in the week one and two folder, they're going to have quiz number one and so on and so forth. So it gives them an idea of exactly what is available in terms of quizzes and also the deadlines that they have to complete those quizzes. The resources link simply shows them all of the resources, attachments, and files that I provide to students on this sample course. So this is basically what the layout for our course is going to look like by the time we are done designing it together.